everybody how's it going so today we have another um, tool haul from Home Depot as well as Lowe's um, as well as a haul from Lowe's that I got several weeks ago we're just gonna combine them please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching hey everybody how's it going all right so I picked up several things from Lowe's as well as Home Depot. Um, this is from Lowe's probably, I don't know, five, six weeks ago. Something like that. I just never did a video on it. But um, I got one of these um, torch blue soft touch handle um butane torches it's got a bottle opener safety lock lock on and a kickstand um here's the kickstand right here bought one of these from a convenience store in uh the town um it was giant at that time i bought the exact same blue one i leave it in this orange cart which is my um electrical diag cart um, I ended up finding these at Lowe's. I picked up the three different colors they had. The dark blue, um, this kind of teal color, and this camo with orange. Um, so, just quick video for those. Um, I had to take this off um, for the shelves that I have. And it's kind of messy in here right now because I'm reorganizing and moving junk boxes out and everything. But... So I put this up. Um, normally, you don't sit at this couch. Um, it's usually just what the dog sleeps on um, when he comes in the house. And uh, so I put these up. These are some of the ones that I had out in the front yard um, that were donated to me. I mounted these. Um, got some Milwaukee stuff on them. My DeWalt Tough System 2.0 radios up there. Um, this bracket I actually took to Lowe's and Home Depot trying to find brackets similar to this and it's it's very hard to find brackets like this luckily um, Lowe's had them um, Home Depot doesn't seem to carry these brackets at all Home Depot doesn't carry these single style brackets. Um, they carry duals, where it's, you know, it has the, the dual rails, um, and then it has the dual hooks. Um, similar to these rails, but they're not quite the same. Um, they're actually, the Home Depot ones are actually quite proprietary compared to these. These are way wider. These are industrial rails. Um, I did find these single rails though. And I'll show you guys. I just got, you know, a mess going on. Here's a bunch of shelves I bought. Um, might as well add this into the video. So I bought three of three of these 23 by 5 eighths, um, 23 inches and 5 eighths of an inch by 10 inch two shelf kits. These are like those adjustable shelves. Um, I bought three of them. I already put one up. And then I bought four just single white shelves. And I got four black shelves. I also picked up some of these Rubbermaid kits at Walmart. All of these were bought at Walmart. You get three boxes of three boxes of 38 for uh, 10 bucks, which I thought was pretty nice. There's the empty box right there. I got a bunch of boxes in here. Um, there's a lamp. There's a table that was in the living room. Anyways, so I got those single rails I was telling you about. Lowe's actually had them. I got six footers. They're 72 inches. Got four of those. And then I grabbed four of the four and a half footers that are actually 
actually sitting on the orange cart. There's the Milwaukee top off, by the way. And then I grabbed a bunch of the single brackets. So I grabbed enough brackets to mount eight shelves. Um, the lady accidentally charged me 18 instead of 16. 16 of these would equal eight shelves. All I did is I just walked back in and said, hey, um, kind of miscounted. Um, and I said, you know, I don't, I don't want to return the eight dollars. Can I just go grab the other two brackets? And she's like, oh yeah, no problem. Because um, I counted them in front of her, just to show her. And uh, she was very understanding, and the line was very long. So I picked up a bunch of these brackets. And I'm going to probably pick up a crap ton more of these brackets later, but, you know, eight should get me started. Not sure if I'm going to use the six footers right now or just the four and a half footers. I also picked up move the bag. two of these DeWalt tough case, uh, tough cases. They're tough case plus. These are just empty organizers. I thought it was kind of nice. Um, that they had the empty organizers. And these are, are neat because you can take this whole organizer piece out um, and you could put these anywhere you like, which is awesome. Um, and they, they're pointed. So you can only put them in one way and they tighten. And then you can actually adjust this guy um, in the box as well. So the entire box is customizable with all the slide locks all the way around. And uh, these were six bucks. I grabbed two of them. They had probably eight or nine of them. Um, I'm going to put extras in these. You guys know I have a crap ton of these tough cases. All of these DeWalt tough cases right here. All these clear ones. Um, this one right here. The little ones in the corner. These guys right here. So, I like the DeWalt and the Milwaukee. Um, I like the, the tough cases. I was looking for the big, big tough case. Um, it's huge. Um, about the size of the, the Tough System 2.0 box. And I also went to Home Depot and grabbed a couple um, Black Friday items. These two were on sale. Um, this is the 9 inch buy one get one Empire um, levels. This was $9.88. This guy was $9.88. A two pack of Hunter Lumen LED pen lights with slide light. Um, the reason I grabbed these is this is a two pack. The two pack of the Milwaukee's, which I do have, I have one, uh, the Milwaukee pen light. Um, I love this light. I got it free with a, um, a, a M18 a hand vac. But I wish it had more than one mode. This only has on and off. And if you want it to flash, you got to push the button. So I grabbed these because a two-pack at during Bla the Black Friday deals, they have a two-pack of these. Milwaukee ones for $29. This guy right here was only $9.88. You get two plus two sets of batteries. This has four modes. High, low, strobe, and flood. So spot and flood has spot mode and flood mode. It does 100 lumens in spot and 100 lumens um, in flood and high. On spot mode, it does uh, 20 lumens in low and it has a strobe function as well as it says runtime two hours on high for both and 10 hours on low it says waterproof one meter nine meter impact resistant um, distance high is 50 meters high is 50 meters doesn't matter whether it's spot or flood Low is 12 meters. You know, um, it's got a bunch of information on the back. Purpose based on a using alkaline batteries 
Rubber head cover must be installed properly on the pen light to survive the 30 meter drop. Exceptional circumstances, battery may leak fluids and cause a chemical burn or damage your device. To avoid battery leak, do not mix different types of batteries. It has a lifetime warranty. Um, the Empire level, um, these are made in America. Made in USA. Um, you can find these on the end caps. I believe the part number is um, Elder Mary 81.9 Greg. Part number for the Husky Pack is 1005404446. Figured $10. Hey, it's better than spending $30. Um, and I did grab one more item. Um, and it is another Empire item. I don't know if you guys know, but Empire was bought by Milwaukee Tools. Um, this is a 9 inch. Um, Empire Ultra View LED um, magnetic torpedo level. Um, so the difference between these is these are regular standard. They're just reflective. These actually light up. I thought it was nice. This one's not on sale. It's $24. It has round magnets here. And it's got a see-through port on the top. And so do these guys. These guys, I believe... Nope, these guys do not have a see-through port. But, um... I think these might be magnets also. No, non-marring magnets. Um, says on the back, concentrated surround dual LEDs, UV activated optical brightener, high contrast E-band vial, all aluminum frame with top read view window, uh, surface grip on battery cover, provides increased stability. Oh, that's nice. Ruler grooves compatible with most straight edges for extended measuring and marking. V-groove working edge fits on pipe and conduit. Two AAA batteries included. Blue vials are a trademark of Empire Level. Empire Level. Wakmonago, Wisconsin. The item number for this guy is... Edward Mary 95.10. This one is Edward Mary 81.9 Greg. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video. Um, I'm going to start up another video and we'll just take some of these items out of the package, look at them a little more, um, mess with them. All the rack stuff is and shelving stuff is already out of the package. I'm not going to mess with that. Appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Oh, and while I'm here, I picked up this. Um, Melnor Relax Grip. Um, wand with the rotating head and it's got nine, eight or nine, uh, I think it's eight uh, different nozzles uh, for my wife's garden and the other items I already put in the in the garden shed. They're just go garden hose seals um, but like I said please like, comment, subscribe Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. If you guys want um, to check out more content like this, uh, go ahead and click the bell notification icon. And uh, please go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And um, you guys will get a, the video on this soon, the Milwaukee Top Off. 
and um, I do have a link in the top of the description below which is an Ulsa Tools link if you guys um, click on that link you guys can get 10% off of your um, order from Ulsa Tools website uh, ulsatools.com as well as it kicks me back at availability of getting 10% um, off on my next order as well I do appreciate you guys stopping by hanging out with me today um, as always thank you guys so much for watching and to all the subscribers I appreciate you guys hanging with me um, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!